disruption and innovation is not a loner's pursuit. Innovation, and this is something I've been studying and writing about for my next book, innovation comes from collaboration most often. This is something that we biographers sometimes get wrong. If you ever Google or go on Amazon to search the man who invented, you know, in Google you get about 8,600 books, the man who invented this or that and the other. But no, innovation and invention is not generally done in a garret or garage with a light bulb moment coming out. It's done by people getting together and collaborating. And that's what this action forum is all about is creating a notion of connections, of networks, of somebody like Jordan Caslow who does eyeglasses and then does it, you know, in Africa, and somebody else who knows how to do a startup business, and people sitting around saying, yeah, I'm working on education too, but maybe that would connect to what you do. And that gets you to the third lesson, which is collaboration happens better face-to-face -face and in person. One of the things we thought of the digital revolution was that we'd all Skype or, you know, friend each other on Facebook or network virtually or use the web or somehow or another uh, be able to network in a virtual world. One of the things that I've learned at the Aspen Institute is that people who do network in the virtual world, what they really love is the ability then to come face to face and in person. Steve Jobs understood that as well. When Steve Jobs was building Pixar headquarters 15 years ago, he built one big atrium, and to get to the bathroom, everybody had to walk through the atrium. To get to the cafeteria, to get to the screening rooms, everything fed in, because he said that serendipitous encounters face-to-face, -face, where you weren't expecting something, you just sort of said, hey, what, you, what are you working on? That's the way real creativity was sparked. We see that over and over again. Bell Labs was the great font of disruptive innovation back before it got disrupted. Bell Labs creates everything from the transistor to the laser to all the fundamentals of the digital age. They did so because they built this wonderful campus in Murray Hill where there were long corridors and information theorists like Claude Shannon who would juggle balls on a unicycle up and down the corridors. These theorists would meet with theoretical physicists or quantum mechanics, but also people with grease under the fingernails because they were pole climbers for the Bell System or the business people at the Bell System or the material scientists. And they put them all together in a cluster and they said, okay, how are you going to create in silicon? How are you going to dope the silicon to make it a semiconductor? And it was a team of people that did it together and did it in a place-based operation. 